Hey everyone, welcome to DrinkConnector.com. I'm your host, Josh Wade, and this is the internet's place to explore the five senses of coffee and wine. Decided for a little change of scenery today because sometimes it's just tough being in my basement all day long and then doing some wine reviews. So I moved upstairs so I could spend some time uh, with my wife. Um, but tonight we are reviewing three Riesling, uh, two of which I received several months ago on samples. Uh, but just wanted to hold them back for the right time, and I think now is the right time. So we have three Riesling from uh, Washington, we have one from California, and then we have one from Oregon. So we can get a general sense of uh, three different styles, three different winemakers, and uh, three different regions. And um, one is a little bit more expensive, and the other two are on the lower side of the price spectrum. The first one we're going to look at is a very recognizable label uh, from Charles Smith Wines, uh, the 2009 Winemaker of the Year, according to Wine Enthusiast or Spectator or Advocate or one of those. This is the Kung Fu Girl Riesling. Uh, it's $12 retail. Uh, you probably get it for somewhere around $10. Um, this is the 2009, so brand new release. Um, and a, a lot of kudos for the 2007 and 2008 vintages of this wine. Um, the color on this one is a little lighter than I would uh, tend to expect from a Riesling. Um, and it also seems to be um, like Don Ho has pulled out his ukulele and he's singing Tiny Bubbles because there are some tiny bubbles in this wine. Um, so anyway, let's give it a sniff. Okay, so this is a fairly aromatic wine. Uh, there seems to be a little bit happening on the nose, and it's had a chance to warm up a little bit from being in the cold fridge. It's been out for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I am getting some um, uh, peach and some apricot flavors or aromas in there. Uh, and there's kind of this um, this heat. I'm, like, I'm not sure why, but it's just like this heat that uh, kind of little tinges the nose a little bit when you take a deep breath. But uh, let's give it a sip. Okay, so all in all, this wine is, um, it's all right. It seems to be slightly disjointed, and I'm not sure why, and I can't figure out why. Uh, the flavor profile is decent. You definitely have some of the tropical fruit in there. Um, it's, it's not overly sweet. I would call it like a medium dry, so uh, the acidity is good, but there's, there's something maybe just missing in the middle of the palate. This doesn't seem to be um, even all the way through. And there is like this uh, minerality or this something that I can't quite pick out. Minerality is not the right word, but there's something off in the finish. Um, it just doesn't make it seem lovable. It's likable and shoot, for $10, um, it's definitely something you can pick up. Always a conversation starter when you bring this label to a party. Any, any Charles Smith wine, you certainly can. Let's move on to the next one. We'll go down to California. Uh, this one's a 2008 Smith Madrone um, winery, and I've reviewed uh, Chardonnay, I think, and a cab from these guys, and the Chardonnay was uh, one of the best Chardonnays I had in 2010. Uh, phenomenal wine. This one is a little higher on the price side of Riesling. It's $26. Uh, immediately, you can tell it's definitely more yellow in color, uh, darker. It seems to be a little thicker um, as well. But let's give it a sniff. Okay, so the, <clears throat> not a ton happening on the nose, but what is there is very intriguing. And you hear my dog whining in the background. The other night it was the cat, now it's the dog. These animals of mine. Um, I can't quite pick it out. It's, it's a tropical fruit. Um, I have to go back and start smelling some more tropical fruit. It seemed, I want to say guava or um, papaya or something like that in there, um, but it is, my wife just held up a papaya, um, but it does seem to be real smooth and subtle. Um, very intriguing. Let's give it a sip. All right, so I'll start with what I don't like about this wine. I don't like that there's, there's not a ton of stuff happening. Um, it, it is, Fairly one-dimensional, um, but I'll tell you what I do like about it. It's well made, and it's even from front to back. There's nothing disjointed. Um, it's, it's very refreshing. Um, so the what I do like definitely outweighs what I don't like about it. Joy. But with that said, we're moving on to the 2008 Willamette Valley Vineyards uh, Riesling, and that dog is whining to get out for sure. Um, 
these guys are a super um, eco-friendly winery. Uh, first to do a, a lot of great green um, initiatives for wineries and just for business in general in the state as well as in the country. Uh, this one is twelve dollars, I believe. I might, I might be wrong. It could be fourteen. Um, it's a little lighter in color than the last one, but definitely darker in color than the first one. And I can tell from the initial swirl that it's going to be a little sweeter. It just seems to um, seems to swirl like it has more thickness to it. So let's give it a sniff. <clears throat> Okay, so again, not a ton happening on the nose, but the things that I get are, um, again, some tropical fruit and a little bit of uh, minerality in there. It does seem to have that hint of what people tend to particular, particularly love about Riesling, and that's like that, that uh, petrol, uh, gasoline, just undertones. Uh, so very interesting in there. So uh, let's give it a sip. Okay, immediately tell us definitely the sweetest of the three wines that we had. I wouldn't call it a sweet Riesling. It's not quite there in sweetness. Uh, residual sugars are probably under 2%. Uh, percent. Um, but and then the acidity, i got to just before I move on, the acidity is actually enough to wash out the sweetness. So it has a nice balanced attack from, from front to back. Um, the, the flavor profile, I would lean towards like a, uh, a peach, but not quite uh, your traditional peach. It's more like a, a tropical peach, maybe a lychee fruit. Um, and it's real subdued, um, a little flowery, a little perfumey. Um, I'm not a huge sweet white wine fan. I'm not a sweet fan, red or white at all. Um, so this one wouldn't be one that I would necessarily, I would actually prefer the price range, the uh, Kung Fu Girl. Um, but I can see where people would really enjoy this. It actually won uh, Best in Class at the San Francisco Wine Awards. So excellent work for uh, that wine and excellent recognition for the wine. Um, do you prefer Riesling? Do you like Riesling? What are some of the best Rieslings that you've had uh, lately? You know, it could be $10, $20, $30 Riesling. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and considerations down in the comments, so feel free to share. Uh, life is always meant to be enjoyed with friends. Uh, what would you pair a Riesling with besides your friend? Uh, so I encourage you to get out there and enjoy life and drink happy.